Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is a yellow level so there's one exit. Snide Tide. Let's start. So there's a tide. You know, it's, it's it follows the screen. <laughs> it's a pretty weird level overall but it's really short and really easy too. So yeah, as you can tell you can kind of get into these situations where the snide tide follows you like that and then you kind of fall down until you hit the bottom of the screen because the tide isn't there to um isn't there to sort of catch you so to speak and that's a weird kind of fish to have in this sort of situation these uh upward jumping fish but i suppose it sort of kind of works in the because it's kind of easy to aim for them then i don't know <laughs> this is obviously just a bonus area for lives and oh i could have got a lot more lives here if i would have just went up forward and then stood above them and yeah Anyway, dragon coin. Anyway, pipe, go. And we appear up here for some reason. <laughs> uh, that the pipe that we seen was um, over there, so we didn't really miss much of the level. And yeah, it doesn't look like that this pipe leads anywhere. But oh no, there's there's definitely some sort of teleportation device inside it. That's why they're called the warp pipes, after all. <laughs> uh, the tide's gonna go down. Yep. Careful. Careful. Very, very careful. Okay. Just wait for it to go up. I'm gonna kill you. Oh! I'm gonna try to kill you. There we go. <laughs> um, I should probably, like, spin jump off. Yeah, that works a lot better. <laughs> and it's a lot safer, too. Hmm, I'm just trying to explore this level. I'm gonna show you what it's... Uh, what is all in here. Did that flower just despawn? Oh! <laughs> It looked like the flower despawned off screen there for a second. Whoa! <laughs> and yeah. Last dragon going. No! Oh. <laughs> I got a fish in the face. Didn't feel all that good. The scales are very sharp. And there's the end of the level. See, I told you it was a short one. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I think this level could have been a lot longer overall, because it just seems like it has a lot of uh, uh, potential with the way that snide tide works and whatnot, and yeah, but that's the end of it. What can I do? <laughs> Next level, Sumo Symphony. What do they mean by Sumo Symphony? Well, I guess you will see as we go along. Not necessarily the music of the level, but some reference. I'm going to wait till you pass, because you're kind of... Kind of in the way, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see what's inside the boxes. Because there could be goodies in the boxes. Okay, not really all that many goodies. <laughs> if you count coins as goodies, I suppose. What? Where is safe? Where is the safety? Okay, it's right here. Safety is everywhere. Just always be careful. Jumping down blindly. Uh, that plant is really in the way, okay. Yeah, don't shoot. Well, you did shoot, but it despawned off screen. Which makes me happy. Woo! Move it, move it, move it, move it. Okay, good. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Just be careful. Very careful. Look at the walls there. Just notice anything about the walls? Yeah, that's the sort of kind of idea of the level here. Sumo Symphony. Um, those are Mario Paint references, more more specifically, the music maker of it. And look out for Koopas. They slide down slopes, and here's the Sumos! By the way, their lightning does not hurt you. Uh, it's the fire that hurts you, so yeah. So, Sumo Symphony is... I guess that's how it works. <laughs> uh, down here is pretty much nothing. But you want to run... Over here, you don't have to fly really, but yeah, since I got a keep, I can do that. You just need to be at full blast to get across that. Oh, it only spawned two out of the five fire bars there. Or fire streams there. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, good. By the way, you can do this to them. So keep that in mind as it's pretty handy to know because there's some rather awkward obstacles of said sumo. And I also think this is a part of the symphony here too. Um, the note blocks and whatnot, yeah. Uh, careful if you want to get this dragon coin, because yeah, <laughs> that is there, and you probably won't appreciate uh, 
falling to your doom. <laughs> By the way, the uh, second half of this level, much, much more difficult than the first half, but it, it takes a really cool turn. You'll see when we reach there. Mm, can I make this jump with the cape? Or will I have to use the mushrooms? Okay, I can make it. Actually, I don't even think I needed the cape for that. Just uh, needed it to be well-timed. All right, midway point. Get ready for the game's most awesome song. Oh yeah, as you can tell, this place takes a drastic turn in feel. Uh, if you get hit during your balloon flight, you can enter one of the mark pipes and get another chance. So yeah, balloon flight is indeed coming up here. So um, so yeah, if you like, oh no, my balloon, it's getting away from me. Go on the pipe, it'll reset the area. These have been dubbed reset pipes by people and yeah. It'll reset your balloon. Now, when you grab a balloon, you want to be moving in the direction that you want to go when you touch the balloon. Because you'll have sort of like a drift um, that you won't be able to control when you grab the balloon. So, yeah, it's it's something that you got to practice. And this really isn't the safest place to practice it in. Because this is... The second half is pretty dangerous. And I really like that fire to despawn. Did it despawn? Yes, it did. Okay. Yes, good. Very good. Oh, no, 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 Not going to happen. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't like that angle. I'm gonna reset it. Reset, reset. I want to give myself as much time as I possibly can. Oh, jeez, it came back. I don't want to... Yeah, I'm gonna reset one more time. <laughs> But this time I'm gonna hang over at this corner like a coward and wait for it to drop down. No, oh, despawn, please. Despawn. Despawn. D comes after C. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a good angle right there. Be careful of bullets. You have enough time to react, but just be careful. Oh. Okay, see, you have enough time. Just relax. Calm down, and what's inside this box? Another feather. Kind of generous. <laughs> Alright, go moving on. And... Oh, this is a obst uh, uh, odd obstacle you to pass if you don't do that. Um... Mm -hmm. Careful. Very much careful. There's a lot more to this level to go. Yep. <laughs> Just take your time. Oh yeah, look at these things. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> it spawns the lightning that causes the fire to plop out, yeah. <laughs> so I guess the sumos of this area have created something to do their dirty work for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next segment. I kind of miss the awesome music area, don't you? I miss it tremendously. This has to be up here, okay. This has to be there, just good. Just try and try and to uh, try and figure out uh, how high you can jump up to them too, so that you can maximize your jump height. Music, it's back. Yes. Yes, I've missed you. Be careful on this area. It's you got the stairs that you might accidentally fall. I mean, not do. You'll have the jump glitch thing where you're going downstairs and oh, and you don't jump like that. Oopsie. Give me that. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, good. I was not going to die there because the end is right here. That went surprisingly smoothly because this level is pretty difficult. So I think, cue or think, I'm gonna risk it and do one more level just because it's my favorite one. Well, in the game, Acoustic Castle. Why is it my favorite? Well, 
It's a whole castle of this music combined with rather unique obstacles. And yeah, now we were really um, heavy on the Mario Paint references here with the 3 4 and 4 4 blocks and whatnot. Yep. It's not as difficult as the last level in my opinion, but it's still um, something you should be careful with because you've got you know bullets and stuff like that as you'll see along the way and all sorts of stuff can uh, uh, mess with you and oh geez uh, it, the perspective of the background though is a little bit weird because it looks like that you're it, those things you can jump on you know the slopes in the background but no 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 no, no they move with the background and thus you can jump on them though there are actually some level designs and other hacks that um, use multiple layers to give you awkward jumps um, whoa, 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 off of the background layers and stuff like that and yeah so it's uh gotta play a bunch of hacks to see what I mean though um, as you'll encounter more stuff you'll eventually come across something like that and yeah as I said a lot of <laughs> this is yeah, a lot of unique obstacles in this castle overall because you got the sparks on one block jumps along with um, all sorts of obstacles along your way it's about timing really you know just like thinking about your moves before you make them and you almost didn't think about it too well <laughs> alright moving on and of course there's a, a secret exit in this castle too that you gotta be looking out for get, get out of the way get out of the way uh, those blue blocks in this particular segment are there to pretty much stall you from being able to move forward. Shoot something, there we go, good boy. They shoot at certain rates, so you know it's safe to move between the fire uh, after they make their shot. And yeah, um, be careful. Uh, you might not be able to grab blocks here due to sp uh, sprite limitations um, at times. Like there's, there's a limit to how many sprites can be on screen at one time. So that's another thing about this. I'm pretty sure it's designed that way on purpose. So to kind of throw you off. <laughs> because there's so much stuff going on around that time. It's kind of hard to think that it wasn't thought of. Because um, I think it's like you can have 10 sprites on the screen at the same time or something like that. And fireballs count as sprites. So when they're super spawning, or I mean spawning a lot on the the screen at the same time you get kind of an issue where um, the active blue blocks that are flashing the ones that you pick up are the uh, are, are sprites as well and thus can't be loaded secret and since they can't be loaded they cannot be um, oh, poopers <laughs> they cannot be um, uh, picked up and thus they provide like an impenetrable wall for you until you are able to uh, get past them uh, I mean, until stuff despawns, excuse me. I took way too long to explain sprite limitations. <laughs> anyway, this leads, yep, to the secret exits. I just want to carefully get there so I can keep my cape. It's another portal. To another dimension. Ooh. It's all the way up there. Save! And we're going back in, because there's more to the castle. Unfortunately though, I'm gonna have to start from the beginning. I shouldn't say unfortunately, I should say fortunately, because this is this level is a privilege to play. <laughs> yeah. And also, as you noticed, um, because the castle wasn't demolished there, I was able to just go right back in. <laughs> anyway, just keep your capes as they are very handy for this level to offset said sparks and whatnot that's why oh that's why i'm trying to be very careful with keeping my capes and whatnot through here i'll probably end up making a mistake or two along the way and i'll end up losing the cape but there's a pretty decent amount of power-ups to help me with that along the way anyway yeah i remember that block was safe oh yeah i remember i remember from the other plane. <laughs> oh, this is where I lost my cape initially. Wow, oh, poopers. I got sort of trapped between a rock and a hard place. Well, a spark and another spark, really. <laughs> well, at least I've got another cape in reserve. Ooh. Very, very handy to be able to kill those respawning enemies like dry bones and uh, bony beetles. Go, 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 oh. 
that spawning block area. Eh. Gotta watch the fire. I think this level is pretty much repeating itself, like in the way that I've played it. Because I lost the power up back at this, that same spark area. I got another power up behind that Bowser statue. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think history is repeating itself somehow. No, stop it! No, stop it! Dang, spray! They're freaking. Freak, freak. <laughs> yeah, stop it! Let me grab them! <laughs> so awkward. It gets so silly at the same time. I mean, it's, it's not like you're in super amount of danger or anything like that when you can't grab a block, but it's just the, the thing of that it happens and it's kind of. It's, it's kind of a weird feeling as you're expecting to grab a block and you don't actually grab a block. You just spin. Uh, wait a second. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, that was where the secret was. So now, go through the main parts. Well, I should say the main uh, exits of the level, the regular exits and whatnot, yeah. So, <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. See the switch block? It reverses direction of the direction of the ceiling, excuse me. <clears throat> and you've got to sort of race to each section as you go. And I'm going to try and time it with the dry bones here. Good, yeah. You probably remember a certain segment like this. But it's done a lot better than the original game, in my opinion. In the, right here, because you got... It's a careful yet quick segment <laughs> like you don't have all that much time but yet at the same time you do have to be careful with certain stuff because certain stuff is moving and you could be locked out and you could end up getting squished by something and yeah I love this <laughs> go, 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 go. go 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 okay so you have to run a lot farther than the uh, other segment too and by the way over here you want to jump on top of the block and wait, wait, wait. You just want to sort of get get ahead of the. Oh wait, this is the block you want to jump up. Excuse me. Yeah, because you need to be safe from the lava. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Like, you know, lava goes with um, the said wall and ceiling and whatever. Yeah, and the door does too. <laughs> All right. One last area remaining here, and it's got multiple paths, so pick your poison of sparks. <laughs> um, I think I'll... I don't know, really. It's... All of them are pretty danger-filled. I'm gonna do... Oh, shoot! I was gonna... I was gonna try and get underneath that, and then just sort of, like, follow the direction the spark was going, but I failed. There's a last dragon coin there. And... Careful! Okay. Okay, we are good. Another split path here, you've got that side, and you've also got this side. Which path should I take? I'm not sure. Oh boy. <laughs> mm, let's try this side, let's see what it looks like. They're about equal in difficulty. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's exactly the same on both sides, so it didn't really matter which side I took. Just try and follow the um, direction that the sparks are going. And you should end up with success. Oh, almost fell off the edge. And it's time for Ludwig. It makes sense to have him be in a Mario Paint castle because, you know, he's a musical Koopa of sorts. I probably should have hit him as he was plopping down. I mean, as uh, before, before this got out of hand here. <laughs> uh, you gotta kind of get him to jump at you when he doesn't jump off screen it's kind of kind of weird how that works because he, he can end up shooting fireballs off screen and this happens even in the original game and then you can't hit him like maybe he's gonna go off screen here oh yep I can't reach him there I'm gonna have to wait until he does his shell slider move thing it's like he's not all that difficult it's just a matter of uh, getting him to do what you want him to do I win This went all pretty well. <laughs> a lot better than I thought it would, actually. Like, all the levels I played in this video. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's watch this cutscene, because it's actually gonna do something. Watch the castle fly away. Woo! <laughs> 
Ludwig von Koopa's last composition will probably be lost forever, since it crashed in the volcano along with his castle. Meanwhile, Mario enters the magical forest. Now, what do they mean by get a castle crash? Well, does it mean that the castle is gone? Well, no, actually. Believe it or not, beating that level caused another level to appear in the volcano. Yeah, this is pretty neat. I'm not going to do it until much, much later because it leads to like the end, 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 end game. But it's right here. It's Crash Landed Castle. <laughs> so keep that in mind for later on when I'm going to do both exits of that stinker. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next part.